Both battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles are seen as viable, emission-free options for heavy-duty trucking. But each have their own unique use cases where they perform best. So when exactly does it make sense to choose hydrogen? And when does battery do the trick? Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles show advantages over battery for the heaviest and longest of hauls, while battery electric vehicles are better suited for lighter loads with more frequent stops. This is because hydrogen weighs less per unit of energy than batteries do, creating a curb weight advantage and allowing for heavier payloads and longer driving ranges than that of their battery electric counterparts. In order for battery electric vehicles to complete non-stop haul of the same distance as a fuel cell electric vehicle, the amount of battery required on board becomes impractical, taking up too much space and increasing the curb weight substantially. Trucks with additional components, such as waste compactors, refrigeration units, or cement mixers, need extra power on board to operate this equipment. And as we now know, increasing power by increasing onboard hydrogen is more practical than by increasing onboard batteries. The difference in refueling time is also significant, with fuel cell electric vehicles refueling at less than half the time needed for a battery electric vehicle to fully charge. Fuel cell electric vehicles have a refueling time comparable to diesel trucks, allowing them to sustain back-to-back -back shifts without downtime. Because of the current comparatively wide availability of charging stations, battery electric vehicles can be easier to recharge than fuel cell electric vehicles are to refuel, allowing battery electric vehicles to operate in more regions. This is why fuel cell electric vehicles are being used primarily in back-to-base operations as further hydrogen infrastructure is built. Ultimately, both battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles will have their place in the transition to zero emissions. They are both important in solving our real problem, carbon emissions from diesel trucks.